Have you ever had that experience where you got a flu shot and you ended up having a big bruise on your arm where you got the shot? I've never heard of that before. Good morning everybody, this is Cruise Man once again for another riveting commentary motovlog. I am uh, decided to try something a little different today. I went to IHOP, something I almost never do, and the reason is because they open early they're actually open 24 hours here so i was up early this morning at about 4 30 and i wanted to get some coffee get a little work done so i thought what the heck thought i would uh, update you on everything going on in the world of cruise man's garage Got a little bit of different route going home today. You'll be riding through a shopping center parking lot. It is about 67 degrees right now here in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's actually a beautiful morning for a ride. Hard to believe it's uh, toward the end of November and we're still getting this uh, temperate weather. It's actually gonna get up into the 80s today, believe it or not. But it isn't going to last long. We've got some uh, cooler weather coming this weekend and some rain. So I probably won't be riding on Monday or Tuesday. In fact, that brings me to my real topic for today is to kind of let you know what's uh, being updated at Cruise Man's Garage. I am setting up a new studio in one of my bedrooms at the house and I will be using this studio for some uh, vlogs I'll be using it for Cruise Man's Garage vlogs during periods of time where the weather won't allow me to ride and I can still update you on the latest uh, news and information around the motorcycle world and I'll also be using it to vlog for my uh, cruisereport.com channel my other uh, YouTube channel which is for the cruise industry which is really suffering right now as you might imagine and so I just uh, assembled and installed my new uplift desk I'll be doing a video on that here in the near future and uh, I've got some new lighting and camera equipment coming in for the studio which uh, hopefully will result in a little bit better quality videos in the future. Now let's move out to the garage because I'm working out there as well. I have uh, repainted uh, the walls uh, on my studio portion of the garage and I'll eventually be repainting the entire garage. I've got a company coming out on Monday to take care of the, uh, the flooring. We're getting some uh, epoxy on the floor to give it a little bit nicer look. The, uh, the little panels that I had on the floor, I did a video a few years ago about it. They're these vinyl interlocking uh, tiles. Uh, and they're very comfortable and they're they're really really nice, but They get dirty real easily and they're almost impossible to clean. In fact, they are impossible to clean You just cannot get the tire stains off of those tiles So I have been told That this new epoxy uh, Will not have those same issues. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm looking forward to getting this new epoxy paint on the floor. Now the downside to the epoxy is uh, regardless of the color you get, 
Um, and I, I am going to go ahead and get the little flakes put in the epoxy because I think it really does look nice. I think it'll give a better presentation on the videos. But the downside to those little flakes, and most of you have seen, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the downside is if you drop a screw or a nut or a bolt, it's really hard to find on the on that surface because it's so it's almost like camouflage. But I think it's probably worth it for the visual impact for the videos, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. And I have hired a cabinet maker to make some custom cabinets for the garage. I'm getting rid of those old cheap plastic cabinets and I'll have a lot more storage space. I'll be moving my Husky rolling toolbox to the other end of the garage and a couple other little surprises as well. So I'm very excited to show you my new uh, garage studio once it's complete and it will be the uh, backdrop you might say for future installation, review videos, uh, Honda maintenance videos, I'm trying to always elevate and step up my game as far as production quality and visuals. I also replaced all of my lighting in the on the ceiling of the garage with LED lights. Um, super bright LEDs and I think when I get that uh, new floor in it's really going to pop and reflect off that floor and uh, so I'm, I'm excited about it I'm anxious to get it done and, and get some a video out there I'll, I'll tell you about the whole remodel process and what I did I'll do a separate video on that and show you kind of uh, what's going on and uh, I'd love to get your your view and, and just out of curiosity how many of you out there have that epoxy on your garage floor and if you do do you like it are you happy with it uh, I looked at all different kinds of coatings and surfaces and that just seemed to the, the one that kept coming up uh, as a, the better solution I have a friend Dale who also rides a 2018 Goldwing and he has this in his garage he's very happy with it he's had it I think for several years uh, he actually referred me to the company uh, that's going to be doing mine so I'm uh, really looking forward to it and looking forward to just the, the entire uh, the new studio uh, for indoor work and the new uh, garage studio as well out in the garage so I'd be anxious to hear what your comments are as far as uh, your flooring that you have in your garage and uh, your setup. And you know, send along some photos if you have them. Now we're right in the middle of Thanksgiving holiday season. And you know what that means. That means Black Friday is coming up and after Black Friday you've got Cyber Monday. So you get all your uh, great deals this week. And uh, what are you planning to buy for your motorcycle on Black Friday or Cyber Monday? Put it in the comments down below. And now that we're on that topic, it's a good chance for me to tell you about a Cyber Monday promotion that we have on my 2000 well actually it's on every year version 2001 through 2020 Honda Goldwing maintenance videos we're offering $50 off and that's the best deal we've ever offered on my videos use the promo code cyber Monday when you order we've already had several orders we started this promotion a few days ago and man the response has been amazing. We appreciate it. Want to welcome all you new customers. Make sure you register your video purchase. Anyway, I appreciate your business. I appreciate you supporting the channel. The sale of those videos does support this channel and uh, all the other efforts we have going on. So thanks again for all your support. Now, since we last spoke, I think uh, there's been some pretty breaking news on the COVID front. 
there are a couple of companies, maybe as many as three companies, that now claim to have a vaccine ready to go that are 95% or thereabouts effective, which is interesting because the typical flu shot you get is only about 70% effective, depending on the year and the strain of the flu. But if these vaccines are 90 plus percent effective, I think it's going to be a big, uh, a big game changer for the economy and for our life in general. But I'm just curious, how many of you will take that vaccine when it's available? Put it in the comments down below. Are you going to take that shot? I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to take the shot or not. I think I'll let some of these guinea pigs take it first, but we'll have to see. I did get a flu shot this year, first time I've ever gotten a flu shot in my life, and the only reason I got it is because the flu that I had last February was the one of the worst I've ever had. So I thought, I'll go ahead and get a flu shot. Now, here's something interesting. I've had a bruise, I'm talking about a big bruise on my left arm where I got that shot. And it's been there for almost a month. It's taking forever to heal. Have you ever had that experience where you got a flu shot and you ended up having a big bruise on your arm where you got the shot? I've never heard of that before. I'd be curious to know if any of you have had that experience. So anyway, vaccine may be coming on the way. That's probably good news for the cruise industry, which I'm closely tied to. And I appreciate your uh, joining me today. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for supporting me on the video side. Much appreciated. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.